All right, buying a home as an entrepreneur. First and foremost, if you're an entrepreneur and you're running a business and you want to purchase some of the business, talk to your CPA first. If you don't have a CPA, then get a CPA. Um, you know, it's, it's really not a whole lot of difference between buying a property as a uh, as a business versus buying it as an individual person as far as the functionality of it goes. The financing is definitely different. Um, the ability to, to do certain types of financing is definitely different. You're not going to go get a strict residential loan. It's going to be a commercial loan of some sort. Uh, I would say that in most cases, um, unless you're buying, like if you're paying cash, it's a totally different thing. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, there are definitely different options. So I would say first get with your CPA, find out what your CPA recommends for a structure. Then we can get you with a lender and they can figure out which structure will work best for you. It's not going to be a straightforward, you know, residential loan, but definitely doable. I don't really know of a lot of cases outside of straight investors. Uh, and most of the time they're just putting it into some you know, sort of an LLC that was made just for that property and whatnot for a ton of different reasons. I don't really see a lot of reasons for an entrepreneur, so to speak, to purchase a home with their business unless they're gonna use it for their business somehow. Did that answer your question? Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Living in South Florida Does Not Suck. Please do subscribe with the notification bell on. If you liked today's guest, you can also get more information about them right here. Like magic, it will appear. Uh, anyways, we love having you here. We love having your friends here. Shout it out from the rooftops. Like us on Facebook. Share it with your friends. We'll see you soon here in beautiful, sunny South Florida.